Hello, mayors, and welcome back to Build It With Smith. We are back here at the capital city, and we're going to be uh, just continuing on from the last time we were here. Uh, this will be episode two of the capital city uh, episodes, I guess. So, as you can see, it's nighttime, and uh, I, I, did, I did do a couple of different things. Uh, from the last episode. Actually, if you haven't gone and watched the last episode, go ahead and watch it. Uh, this one will still be here for you. But I replaced the park that used to be here. And uh, just to jog your memory, this is the park that used to be right there. And I still one day will have a use for that park. It used to be this one. To me, though, it could be more festive, and so therefore you have this, which I think to me is a little more um, elegant. You know, you got the, and this also, by the way, came from the, uh, came from the, I think it was a contest of mayors uh, season that we looked at. And so anyway, uh, it actually gets about the same uh, population boost as the other one, but you know. So I was trying some things out here, and I kind of, uh, have already done them but maybe they will be different after a while so I kind of went a little park crazy and right now I want to put them all back most of them at least but I just thought hey maybe this will be a good thing to do just put a bunch of parts in these blank spaces but but it doesn't really seem to be doing much good, especially with these being here, getting no population boost. We're actually going to put these away. I don't know what I'm going to put here in these slots. Uh, but anyway, we need to kind of clear it up a little bit. And just, we need to clear the whole place up. So that's what we're going to be doing here with things that are not being used right now. Just kind of clear them up so that we can only focus on what we need to focus on, which is our continued road structure. Now, what I should have done before I started this episode today was I should have kind of cleaned up the buildings a little bit more, put them, put them away, so to speak. But I didn't do that, so uh, we're just gonna keep going here. All right, now, I can put these away, these transportation buildings here. It's just to try to clear up a lot of the clutter. Now, I don't want to spend the whole episode doing this, but uh, I will do it for a couple of minutes here. It's just going to help things out. All right, uh, so that's it. Now, the main focus for this particular late out, late, <laughs> For this particular layout that I'm doing is we want a uh, we wanted this road here that we're focusing on to go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, and keep on going. And then we're gonna have a road that goes all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Now I'll let you guys in on a little something. Listen up. Put your ear a little closer to the speaker. Here's what's going to happen as this road continues. This is going to be our new Las Vegas uh, casino strip. As you can see, we have all of these pretty, pretty, pretty casino buildings. And this is our old kind of casino deal there. But we're going to uh, move that around. And it's going to be going this way along this road. So it's going to be a little bit different. Now, uh, so, you know, that's that. Now, I do like this. I do like this. This is uh, the Himalayan garden. And I like it being right there because it kind of breaks up the, uh, just all the buildings and stuff that could get kind of cluttered and, and, uh, and all that. Now, uh, so these all right here, I've been hard at work this whole week getting more epic beach buildings. And that's what we have here, epic beach buildings. Take a look at them. Some of them aren't too bad. 
And what I like, uh, what I what I don't like to do is just kind of all of these buildings are so unique, and to me, sometimes they can get a bit cluttered, like a little too close together, where you can't really appreciate the value of the buildings, and therefore that is why sometimes you will see when I do my layouts, I have a variety of different size buildings so that you can see the ones behind the other ones and so that's why that's why you have this now these aren't permanent uh, you know and I don't I don't really know for sure yet what I'm gonna put here but if you look at the overall road structure as a matter of fact it may be easier if we look at it this way if you look at the overall road structure now only pay attention to this side not this over here. This is still going to be reworked. But only paying attention from this main road here, this one, that one, over. Okay? And look at what we've done so far. So we've, you know, we've kind of got it a little more uh, functional as far as road structures go. And I like it. So we're going to continue doing that. Now, it's saying that I need to, I really wanted, I really didn't want to have to do this, but it appears it's going to make me, although, let's see, which way is forward with these things? Is this, where's the parking spaces? Here? I think if I turn them a certain way, then... The traffic will flow. Yeah, see? So the traffic will flow the other way. I think it's going to be true also for this one. Let's see. Let's see if that made any difference. Yeah. So you see there, you just learned something. Uh, by turning the buildings so that the traffic flows the other direction, we were able to... Uh, do something with that. So, anyway, that's that. And so, the, what you have here is you, if you live in these apartments or whatever they are here, luxury apartments, you just roam around there and, and then you leave out through this way. Okay. What is next? What is next? It's a little easier to look at now. Okay, let's clean some stuff up here. Maybe we will work on this side a little bit. And let's see what we can do. Okay. Looks like we can... Uh, let's go ahead and this road right here, this can become a part of something. And so can this one, this one, and this one, and this one. All right, so now that kind of mirrors the other side with what we have right there. And uh, so, so that's that. Let's kind of take, I don't think, I don't think we're going to be using this little deal here to this same capacity. So let's take that apart. And just get rid of these. Yep, I think we should go ahead and do this. But you know, the hardest thing is not the road structures on this game. I like coming up with different road structures. But the hardest thing is getting the buildings up to the level that you need them. Now, I think what I should do, and maybe on the next episode, I'll actually move all these buildings, except for maybe these right here, because I'm pretty sure I want this to stay like the way it is. I think it looks pretty nice the way it is right there. But all these other buildings are, are probably not going to stay that way. So keep that in mind, folks. And actually, 
now that I think about it. Let's see. I could actually probably fit like the city hall in, in, in here somewhere. The city hall, where is it? This one? Because it, uh, not the town hall actually. Because it would fit right in there, you know? So, well, that'll be for the future. Right now, though, let's just focus on what we have going on. So, it's going to destroy more roads. Just, uh, so that we know what we're doing here. And we might as well just destroy all of these. I mean, we'll probably keep those, but for the most part. Alright, so where's our main road? Okay, so what we're going to do... Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. Any ideas, guys? Any ideas of what we should do here? Look at it. I kind of don't think that this road right here is worth our time. This one? I don't think so. I have to do something else there. Maybe we can keep this same distance between them. But I'm not sure. All right, uh, let's see. How are we looking? All right, uh, what should we do here? All right, I guess what we need to do is kind of figure out what our plan is for this area here. Now, let's see. Okay, we could, you can fit two buildings in right there. So that's good. Now let's see, is it going to be better? Let's see what what uh, what is a better thing to do here. Now, I could just... Do I have any more... Of those uh, buildings these um, style buildings here that's a London Let's see Tokyo London why did I have so many London buildings those aren't even really my favorite Tokyo buildings hmm it's just so hard to to try to uh, you know stay focused on these upgrades here anyway I was kind of thinking though it may not be such a bad idea to continue on have these buildings like that might not be it's a whole little section there uh, another thing I was thinking though is we go back to those parks and let's find a good one here I think this is them Oh, it doesn't show me what. Well, let's look at that one. What is that? Shubin Park? What is that? I don't know what that is. How about this one? St. James? That one's kind of nice. Maybe a little bit too... I don't know if that's... That's a nice one, though. How about this one? What's that got going on? Not sure. Not my favorite one. Oh. This one. Probably that St. James Park. And let's see. So that gives us a population boost of 5467. There. And that's pretty nice. I would say that's pretty nice. Right? What do you guys think? In the comments, should I keep this park here or should I put two more buildings? What do you think? All right, moving on. Okay, so I could also, let's just try something here. And these buildings are probably gonna be too, 
too much of a distraction to keep here, but I just wanted to see. They are kind of a distraction. They're very intense looking. Uh, yeah, I think that would be better than, and how much, how much, so we're getting a population boost from that for sure. And they're happy about it. But yeah, what I was thinking is, kind of have that be our little beach area, you know? And I think we actually, all of these happen to be beach buildings, and it appears that we have just enough to make that. So let's see, how does that look? Doesn't look too bad. What else we got here? I think that's also another, another beach building, and we have that one. So that's not a bad deal to have, you know, and we keep on filling this up, what we need. Oh, a lot, actually, four, six, six more buildings. And this one is, to be honest with you, is not even uh, a beach building. It, it is actually for the entertainment, but I kind of flew it over here. Another thing is, though, and why we might want to focus on this other side, because we go over here. As you can see, all of this stuff right here is not covered by any type of... Uh, protection so you might need to do that now oh are we ready we're almost ready how about down here what's going on with these barbecue pits oh guys you got to go faster than that guys all right they're taking a while I'm trying to um, trying to do an upgrade here I need that uh, little French bread thing whatever they call that in order to do in order to do this upgrade here matter of fact looks like I need to make some more glue Let's just get that going hmm. here's I need some plastic actually I think I have some plastic in one of my other regions yep one plastic to be exact so that's good Oh, here's one. Oh, goodness. Here's one right here. And let's get the production going. There we go. All right. So, uh, I was going to kind of make, you know, I want this first part as you come into the town to be, you know, less tall buildings. That's a good way to put it. And so, I need to actually see, how many buildings do I have? That's a good question. 146 buildings. 21 abandoned. So, oh, 60 epic buildings. 14 ready for upgrade. So, that's just the status here. And, of course, that includes a lot of these abandoned ones right here. And some of these right here. But we are in the middle of a uh, upgrade session. So don't mind now the buildings are going to start to get taller as you get into this area of it so watch out for that like i said probably coming up here we will uh have this stuff a little more organized you know yeah definitely and as a matter of fact um i'm gonna have to where is i'm gonna have to figure out Okay, how far back we need to have these guys. Looks like we want to put them right there. Because somewhere in this mix, we're going to have to put our commercial buildings. And I don't want, well, I generally say I don't want to waste service coverage by uh, them taking up space because right now they're not and let me show you what I mean these are not taking up any space see everything that is in uh, how am I saying this 
Hopefully you guys see what I'm saying. The Maxis Manor is only covering the buildings outside of this road. And that's why, that's kind of how I would like to keep it, actually. So, and I don't know if we're going to, if it's going to work out that way. But uh, it appears that, uh, let's, let's just look at the road structure, what we have here. Um, how can we make this fun and functional? I think we'll keep that road going straight through there like that. And we'll keep that. And then there's probably actually space for a building to go right there. I know there's some transportation buildings. Uh, let's see. Are there any? And it's, it's really just the newer buildings. It's not going to be any of those. Let's see. Mountain, uh, uh, where would be, let's see, how about, we don't have any, really any of those, oh, and what's this, I forgot about these guys, yeah, I forgot I had those, got a lot of buildings I don't really use, such a shame, all right, I think in the transportation, with these new flock of buildings that came out, things like the bicycle track would fit right here. See? Now it's just, you know, I also got the hot air balloon that would fit right in there. So it's kind of like what, well, let's look at the, uh, let's see, that is a 20% population boost, 25. Then of course the bus terminal also fit there. But, so I guess I just got to figure out which building best suits that area. The bus terminal may not be that bad, you know? And uh, actually, when you come to think about it, what's probably better than these trees that I put here, which I, I did spend a lot of time doing this, but uh, I could probably fit one of those other transportation buildings right in there. See? 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 You can do that. So, we just got to determine and you know that would that would really get a good boost there. So, I think it does better than the trees. Let's see. Trees, I know those aren't. Yeah, that doesn't look like it adds up to 7700. So, we probably would do better taking the trees down and probably and we can use the trees other places so let's just go ahead and and do that it was a very tedious thing to actually put these trees in place i did that on the last episode but let's just uh do this here and a whole bunch there so you never know we may i mean there will be other places we can use these trees and I'll probably buy more, uh, you know? So, so that's just a plan there. So there you go, so there's that. Now, like I said, what I'd like to do is to go ahead and start removing buildings, placing them all over here, out of the way, so that we can get a really good look at our road structure and uh, start to determine, you know, just kind of have more of a clean slate there. And, Lordship. and all that. Might as well just do that Zip there. Toe. No problem. So that way, as you come into the city, you can very easily travel all the ways around it. And this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad, actually. And uh, I could always, now that I think about it, I could always, you see how there's this, could be a street here. Doesn't have to necessarily be a street. It could just be that sort of a separation for the buildings or, 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 uh, I could fill it with these buildings, which fit this way. See? 
Uh, and there's there's quite a few of these. Let's yeah yeah let's see. Only problem is it looks like uh, yeah it looks like maybe we have to put a park in here or something like that. But uh, but anyway, so these are just things we can do. So let's look at the road structure one more time. I'm pretty happy with it. It it uh, you guys know me. I like a good road structure, and this seems to all kind of fall together really nicely. You know, and for the most part. You know, and everything seems to probably be working out. I don't know about this extra road right here, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's needed. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, not needed, you know. So, but we're not going to worry about that today. As a matter of fact, I think we're about to end this episode right here. We didn't do a whole lot, but we talked strategy, guys. And that's very important. Now, let's see. Are we ready to probably not send off that deal we still got to wait before we can do that upgrade there yeah so anyway um thank you all for tuning in to this episode of build it with smith at my capital city episode two and uh there's a lot of other videos of me playing this game uh and so we're just gonna keep going with this layout and i have not even bought all the land i still got a little bit well still got maybe about a th uh, fifth maybe a fifth more of the land to purchase and that will all be coming up down the road but for now we are done with this episode. You guys leave a comment. Let me know that you watched it. As a matter of fact, if you watched it all the way through, comment hashtag made it. Hashtag made it if you're still watching now. And you will be blessed. Good night or good morning. Good day. See you all later. Peace out.